Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at this very cool Kid Galaxy Coelophysis figure. It's a figure that I've wanted to get my hands on for quite a little while because there are so few Coelophysis figures out there. So I was really interested in the figure straight from the beginning due to it actually being a Coelophysis and honestly here in person having it in hand, I must say it is really quite nice. Definitely one of my favorite Kid Galaxy figures that I've seen so far. Kid Galaxy is kind of hit or miss when it comes to their figures because they usually release a package that will have like one or two really cool figures and then one to numerous random bootlegs or just ugly figures in general. So like they have a good mix of really nice figures and some absolutely terrible figures. But as far as I'm concerned from the overall first appearance of this one, it's definitely a really nice looking Coelophysis figure. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look at this figure right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt, you can see that the head sculpt actually sports some pretty nice sculpt and detail within. You've got a decent looking scaly type of an effect that runs down from the nose area down the palate and then under the eye socket. The actual detail around the eye also looks pretty decent. You've got some nice sculpt here on the lower jaw as well. The teeth appear to be sculpted out quite nicely and the paint on them doesn't appear to be terrible, although it definitely is a little sloppy but it could be worse, that's for sure. You have a tongue painted and sculpted out in there. It's painted with a pinkish coloration. The actual detailing on the inside of the mouth appears to be fairly well done. You can't really see it that good. You can see it a little bit there, but there's no paint other than the tongue, which is a little bit of a downside. You can also tell that the eyes are painted with a brownish coloration and given a black pupil and they are actually glossed really quite nicely as most of the Kid Galaxy figures usually are. It usually does include a very nice gloss coat for the eyes to give it a very realistic wet look to the eyes and I think they have done a very nice job on that as well. You can also see the nostrils sculpted out up here and kind of like a scoot-like appearance that runs back along the skull here from the nostrils moving back into the eyebrow area of our Coelophysis along with some really nice scaling up here on the head and you can also see that there's like this nice kind of like spotting that starts to pick up right here and then we lead back into the neck and that spotting continues through the entire body which I really think is a beautiful appearance for a Coelophysis and you can also see like this really nice brown that picks up and kind of runs along the spinal column of the dinosaur as we move down the neck you can see lots of really nice very fine scaling and detailing throughout the neck region of our Coelophysis along with some pretty nice sculpt here in the throat running down the neck as well. And then we get down here to the base of the neck where it connects to the body and you can see that that skin texture continues. You've got some pretty nice creasing there in the neck area as we lead into the body. You don't really see the shoulder blade or anything protruding from the skin but coming down into the arm the skin texture continues to look pretty nice I will say that you've got a really nice transition nice smooth transition as we move down into this very dark brown for the hands the hands also look quite nice with some really nicely sculpted out nails here at the ends of the hands moving back up here into the body you can almost sort of pick up on the rib cage as I turn it there you can definitely see some nice kind of skin folding and nice detailing here in the lower part of the stomach same deal as we move up here into the back that scaling is really very soft scaling it's very subtle the way it's applied it looks really really nice as we move back here into the leg you can take note to some decent musculature there in the leg end of the calf area some nice creasing there in the joint of the knee you have kind of like a scoot like appearance that runs down from the knee all the way down into the feet pretty nice foot sculpt there's no real paint application to the nails of the hands or the feet that's any different really than the rest of the foot it kind of transitions just from like this primary body color down into this dark brown and then that pretty much covers the entire foot and nails they didn't really do anything special for the nails and to show that you can see here the dew claws are not really painted so they didn't really paint the nails specifically they just kind of painted the hands and feet one color and then just kind of gave up and said that's the color of the nails I guess moving back here into the tail you can see some really nice scale work as we lead out the length of the tail nice detailing here on the underside but the underside is kind of muted a little bit as far as the detail goes in comparison to the rest of the body so that is a little little tiny bit of a downside but personally I think the sculpt looks really nice as far as the detailing goes 
then when you get over here you can see a little bit of a downside as far as screw holes. So that is one thing that is quite abundant in the Kid Galaxy figures. As screw holes, at least as far as these articulated figures go, you do tend to find quite a bit of screw holes which does mess the figure up a little bit but it's not the end of the world especially if you are displaying it from this side I really think it's a very nice looking Coelophysis but otherwise pretty much the same detailing on this side as we saw on the previous side being an articulated figure you're not really going to see much difference as far as the detailing goes so let's go ahead and get a look at the articulation so the Coelophysis does sport some pretty decent articulation you have the articulation of the neck which can actually swivel all the way around if you really want it to. You also have articulation here in the arms, in the legs, and in the tail, same deal with a swivel. So there's some decent articulation which allows for some really nice playability if this is a figure you were to get for your children, even if you are an adult collector like me and you are just getting this as a very cool Coelophysis figure that you would like to display, it still has some decent potential as far as displayability goes with the articulation included. As far as a size goes, from the tail to the head you're looking at about 9 inches or around 23 centimeters in length and for a height about 4 and a quarter inches or around 11 centimeters somewhere in that range. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon next to our Coelophysis and showing you that the Coelophysis is actually a pretty decently sized figure. Being a Coelophysis, it's a very small species of dinosaur, so to have a figure as big as this for the Coelophysis species is quite impressive. Again, Kid Galaxy really pulling out a decently sized figure here and a really nice looking figure overall. So this Kid Galaxy Coelophysis, in my personal opinion, is definitely a pretty darn nice figure because you don't get figures of Coelophysis very often. In fact, trying to think off the top of my head, I can't really think of any. Maybe Geo World at some point might have created one or Kyoto, but as far as most of the other brands like Papo or Collect A, companies like that, you don't really see them making Coelophysis figures, and if they have, I don't know if I've ever actually seen it. But this one is actually really nicely done. The Kid Galaxy line does tend to impress me at times, and I don't know where they get the sculpts like this, where they actually have a really nicely detailed, fairly good-looking figure. I have no idea where they get them from, and I don't know why they can't do this for all of their figures, come up with these really nice looking sculpts that aren't bootlegs of other dinosaur figures because when they actually do come up with these personally I'm usually quite impressed and this one specifically is definitely really nicely done the overall fine detailing of the figure really looks good beautiful sculpt and detail a really nice scaling effect to the dinosaur as far as the minute details go and I actually really like the paint job as well it's nothing overly flashy, nothing overly done, but I think the paint job that they've gone with here looks really natural for a Coelophysis. It's actually extremely natural, and the way it's been applied is really, really nicely applied, very naturally applied as well. So I think the figure is quite impressive in both the sculpt and paint application aspects, and also in the articulation, again, sporting four different areas that can articulate, like the neck, the arms, legs, and tail. If you're going to count each of the limbs, then technically you've got six different areas of articulation, but I wouldn't count the legs and arms as different areas of articulation from each other, that's just two altogether. But again, really nice, that has articulation, nice paint, nice sculpt, overall a very, very cool looking figure. So I will include a link if I can find one to this set that does include this Coelophysis. I'm not sure what other figures are released in that set because I only have this one. As far as I know, I purchased this one separate from the Kid Galaxy sets and a lot of dinosaur figures. So again, I'll try to find the set that does include this. I'll include a link in the description. Make sure you pick it up if you are interested, and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.